Welcome back to Sylvan Project. Today I'm going to fit a single swivel base for the driver's seat. As you can see, this one is normal and the double bench is already swiveled. I decided to make two videos because the one with the double bench would have been too long. And yeah, this video is also sponsored by R&J Camper Solutions from the UK. That's the single swivel seat base. And now I take off the driver's seat and then we have a look at the product itself. So, let's go. To take off the driver's seat, we have four bolts. One here, one here, and two in the front. Before we take it out, we also have to disconnect this cable. And as well as in the other video, make sure to put your ignition on off. Maybe even disconnect your battery, because otherwise you will get an airbag mistake and have to go to Mercedes and get that fixed for quite a lot of money, I guess. So, disconnect, and then we take off the screws. This works a bit different, so you can't pull it out. It just doesn't work. So you take something, like maybe needle, screwdriver, push it in here, and then you can separate them. Surprisingly easy and surprisingly fast. Cool. A few minutes later, everything is just less chaotic and all my cables meet here. I won't show you the chaos because nothing is connected and yeah, whatever. Let's forget this and let's look at this. Here we go. This is fitting instructions, test report, and where you get the product. Most important, RJ Camper Solutions from the UK again. Here we have an adapter for the handbrake because, as I said in the double seat video, the handbrake is in the way when you try to swivel the seats. This thing will help us with that. Here we have some bolts and some nuts and two, don't know the English name, um, cable connectors, whatever, because we have to cut the seatbelt cable and then reconnect it. And the most important part, the seat base itself. We have the sticker here, RJ Kemper Solutions, made in the UK, sharp edges watch your fingers again one bolt another one another one and another one with four bolts to easily unscrew and yeah swivel the seat and we also have the bolt in the middle with a hole so we can connect the cable as you can see the double bench is a bit higher so if we don't use the handbrake we can still swivel this bench but this is slightly Smaller. I think because you can adjust this seat in its height. So first thing would be lower the handbrake and yeah, you access while pulling. Yeah, sounds like you break it. Pulling this back and then you have two screws. Oops, two screws here. Now we mount the plate that will adjust this. Careful, I just saw that we have two cables here. Don't break them. But yeah, and now I lost the connector. No, I didn't. Here it is. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. It's a round piece of metal, round and square piece of metal. And I think... Um, yeah, I hope I get this right, but I think... And you also have... You also have two of these bolts with a sinking head. And I think you should fit it like this and then you get 40 millimeters down here and everything should work fine so just get it 
goes and cross the door. Oops, sorry. And then I'll push from up here to get it to the lowest point. And then oh, fix it. Now we can take back the handbrake, get the original screws. Easy, still works. <laughs> that went quite easy. Now I'm pre-fitting the swivel base plate and uh, see if I see any problem or if everything is as easy as this was. Yeah, it also fits perfect. Now we connect the cable and continue. I just found out that you can disconnect the cable. You can pull out the cables out of this yellow connector. This works by folding this up. Be careful, don't break it. And because the cables on the other connector are not in the same color, you have to remember which cable belongs where. And in my case, probably in your case, the brown cable is number one and the green and gray cable is number two. So, take your needle whatever put it in here and push back the cable as far as possible and then carefully pull it out put the base plate on get the cables through that hole and reconnect it remember you want to be careful not to break it brown to the left And then as soon as they're connected, you put this down and you can't pull them out again. Here we have the bolts that came with our new seat base. We have some with a sinking hat and some without the sinking hat. On the lower plate, use the bolt with the sinking head quickly mount it so it won't move now they are hand fitted and now we tighten them and when tightening bolts or screws in a square always make it like an X so from one edge to the opposite, to another one and to the opposite. So you don't pull up one side and then damage a nut. So this already works incredibly good. Before we get the seat in place, I'll put the screws back on. Carefully get the seat on top and then try to get it into position. I will just put one screw in here so I can check. The front is also perfectly put into position. Maybe another one. With just the screws, with just the bolts, not the nuts. Checking the front, because that's, that can pull it back. Yeah, and that also, that also looks pretty good. So I'm just doing the same and put the bolt in there. And the second, no, the, the last. And now we have these four nuts that we fit on the bolt. So here's how you fit them. Hold the nut from below. Turn the screw from the top until they 
meet each other and then screw it from the top it's a bit heavy because it's a security nut but that's exactly what we want same here just hand fit it until we get all the other screws into position and then fit it like strongly fit it using the X shape I showed you Okay, this is our setup for this van. We use the driver's area as a chill out area, add it to the living room, gain a lot more space. It's incredible, almost the whole length of the car is usable living room now. Yeah, our solution, I love it. Um, within a few seconds, you can easily swivel the seat. Um, I will show you how I do it. And after that, I reconnect the cable and the battery and yeah, check if I get any mistakes. So let's see how this um, whole thing rotates. So this is the way back and this is the way to the chilling area. As easy as that. As you saw, I opened the door and swiveled it from outside because now that I'm doing it the first time, this just felt easier. I'm super happy how this works. Leave a comment down there. Tell us what your solution is, why you chose it. Do you have swivel seats? Do you have fixed seats? Why do you have the solution? Thanks for watching and also see you on Instagram. And yeah, peace and thanks for watching.